It is Friday, September 25th, 2020. I arrived down in Bangor this morning at 10.30 a.m. I am supposed to pick up on up at 5 p.m. I am waiting on the bus still. It is 3.15 p.m. Walking back to the bus station. I originally recorded a couple of videos to upload and stuff. And put on and tried to upload, well, tried to upload, but I was running out of time and I was out of memory, so I have to walk back up now. I figured I'd record a little bit of a walk back up on killing time to be there. Walk back up and be at Wendy's at five, on Union Street next to the Concord bus station here in Bangor at 5 p.m. to pick my daughter up. And we will be taking the bus back to Prescott. Yes, I brought the bus today. It was only myself this morning and two elderly people this morning on the bus. So I don't expect it to be crowded tonight, but I had my mask. I have masks for my daughter and everything, so we are safe. I was safe and she will be safe. I'm walking up Harlow Street here. I'm on my way up to Union, cutting up, going up Harlow. The internet library was really, really slow because of this pandemic. Because this virus here, nobody's allowed inside still. They have it locked out. No one's still allowed inside, but they have their Wi-Fi still on, but not at full capacity or whatever. I guess you would call it a full speed or something because I tried to upload a eight minute video and I was sitting there for about 40 minutes and it had only gotten to 4% so I had to cancel it, delete it from the room. And so I just have to record me picking up my daughter for lawyer's evidence and lawyer proof and stuff for court to show that in court how things go. Not only will I be using that in court, I'll even put it up. Yeah, so anybody that's interested in seeing it can see how it goes me picking her up. So, right now, my view, so I get way up this hill. Going up my way up from Harlow Street, up to you and him. I will get back. And you guys are soon. Uh, I'll get back to you guys pretty soon here. I will get back to y'all. I am gonna pretty leaves over there. And walking up there. That is the lowest. Yeah, that is the lowest I have ever seen. Look at Dusk Extreme, you could walk across all of that right now. Ankle deep across the whole thing. Been having a bad, bad drought this year, I guess. So, up home, we've been having a real bad drought. Down here, the stream seems to have very little water, too, because they're getting affected, but they say not quite nearly, not quite as bad as us in the county. Yeah, I'll get back to y'all. Okay. Still on 13th Street, Harlow slash Harlow, they turn same street. I am up here by the graveyard where it meets the corner of Ohio and 13th, I believe it is. So, still got a little, few, I guess still got a little bit of time to go. It took me a total of 12 minutes to make it to here. 12 minutes, not that bad. Walking at a good pace, that's like a good, good, good couple of miles, I'd say, uphill. All uphill. There's the graveyard. This is Ohio Street, sign Ohio Street Bridge closed on the right. Going 
Street about another mile, three, quarter, three quarters of a mile to a mile, roughly. So about three quarters of a mile, half a mile, three quarters of a mile in that area. And I'll be on Union. And once I get on Union, it's about a mile and a half, two mile walk up by the bus depot. I see by Con Concord Bus Depot, where the Sear bus runs from, to and stuff. So yeah. Showing you what we do, you know what I've been doing here, it was a lot. And right, here now, I'll show you Union when I get to Union. But yeah, it's been my day so far besides going to go on the DMV and get my license renewed. Well, I am now on Union Street. Took me about, it just it took me seven minutes to walk the rest of the way up from the graveyard up to Union on the corner by Walgreens and stuff. Walking up Union now. Across the interstate bridge, go up over that hill and a couple more little hills there. It's about a mile and a half, two miles roughly before I am. Um, yeah, it took me about 15, 10, 15 minutes to walk it, depending on traffic. And it put me there roughly quarter of four, four o'clock, roughly. Be an hour early, still got an hour to kill. By the time I get up there to pick a line out. So, I'd like to say Daddy loves you, Yvonne, and I missed you all week. And I'll be seeing you in just a couple hours, in about an hour and a half to be exact. This is the Interstate Bridge, on Union Street, I-95. Pretty busy today. On Union Street itself is pretty busy today. Again, still. And as you can see, still on Union Street right now. Heading towards Wendy's, it is up here on flat ground, it is 3.40 p.m. Took me 10 minutes to meet from, total of 10 minutes to meet from the corner of 13th and Union to pass the I-95 bridge and everything up here on Union. I am almost to Wendy's. I gotta go walk through. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, one, two, three sets. Only well, three sets of lights there. And they're pretty close to each other. At about two blocks. Two and a half, three blocks in that area. Yeah. So close together, so. Oh, not three, sorry, one. Yeah, one, two, three. Four satellites. And it's so close together right here, so four, possibly five. Yep, five, five satellites. Total of five satellites until I get up by there. That I shall walk through. Take me about five minutes. It won't take me long to get up through there. Been a long day walking around 
trying to kill time after renewing my license there. Thinking the next week I'm gonna see how much uh, rental would cost a car, a rental car. It'd be a little cheaper to come down with one of the car car rental there. It might be a little cheaper. Maybe it might be the same price, but either way, it's cheaper or the same price. If it is the same, I don't care. Cheaper would be better. If it's the same, then I would still get a rental over the bus again. Because I have my license now, I can drive again everywhere, so I would get a rental to come down to pick her up and stuff. Next week, and I'm depending, we'll see. But I'm thinking that's what I'll do.